so tonight we're gonna fish keep on working on our Dane County Trout Challenge. This creek is Lodi Spring Creek, which is in my hometown of Lodi, but we're actually in Columbia County right now. They usually stock trout at this bridge here. So there might be a whole bunch of trout by this bridge. And I might fish down here later. There's someone else fishing here. So we'll see. Here's the Columbia Dane County line. The creek is right over here. It's really swampy in here, and I think there's like a big beaver pond. And you can see there's a lot of water back there. A whole lot. So I think there's a beaver dam over there. So I don't even know if there's going to be any trout up in the Dane County part. Because this is just a big wet mud hole. So I'm going to go by this one spot and see what it's like. This might turn into a walk. So we're at the state wildlife area for Spring Creek. They stock this area with pheasants in the fall and you can come out and shoot pheasants. It's pretty fun. And we actually go duck hunting not too far from where we're gonna fish. Actually if the beaver dam stays in, it'll be really good for duck hunting. I don't know, I have zero faith in catching fish at this spot. But if I go into Columbia County, I'll know we'll catch fish in this creek cause like there's a huge beaver dam down from here and probably Water temps are going to be in the 70s and 80s pretty soon once it warms up if the all this water stays up here. So uh, unless they're taking refuge in some springs up farther upstream, they're probably not going to be much for trout up here. But we'll see what's happening. Lodi Spring Creek is like an 8.2 mile, I think it says, long creek that starts in this marsh in Dane County. And then it flows through the city of Lodi where I live and then it flows into Lake Wisconsin. This upper part of this creek has a really low gradient of only a couple feet per mile. And the gradient increases a little bit in the city of Lodi and there's rapids and riffles in the city of Lodi. And that's where a lot of my trout fishing videos are on this creek is in the city of Lodi or just down just north of Lodi. And I've fished this creek ever since I was like three or four years old. Like my grandma would take us down and we would fish in the rapids by our house where I live. Which I guess I could show you that spot in another video. But I never fished this spot because it's really difficult to get to. And I realized how out of shape I was when I walked this <laughs> far in. I was really out of breath after I walked like probably a quarter to a half mile back into this creek. And I got... Didn't quite get stunk, stuck in the mud, but I sunk up to like two feet deep in mud to get back to the creek. And in some parts, just down from here where I was fishing, like you'll, you'll get sunk waist deep in your mud in here and get stuck in your mud, the mud. And this is not a very nice place to wade around in. And Spring Creek is has been stocked recently with brown brook and rainbow trout. They put in some like 10 inch size rainbow trout every year, like around a, between like 500 and 2000 of them they usually stock. And last year they stocked some brook trout brood stock in here. And they stocked some brown trout brood stock last year in here also, which were like 10 inches long. And they stock it every year with like four to 7,000 brown trout fingerlings, which is all in Columbia County. And they it says on the internet that they stock at a place which is probably like six or seven miles six miles from here where I was fishing at but they also have stocked some fish at that bridge I showed you in this video but it's not where they say they stock it on the DNR website so they might just distribute them along the creek so this creek has a variety of habitats this marsh is kind of flat in a marshy habitat that buffers it from nutrient pollution but there's also issues with runoff in this creek and this main branch of this creek gets pretty warm in the summertime like I can wade in here no wet wade in here no problem and it's not cold at all like I think it would be in the 70s water temp wise and right by where I live but there's are springs in this marsh and there's also a Bowman branch which flows in by the one spot where I'm always fishing in like an urban area on this creek which is much colder and but that also has silt issues and, he, and here's what I caught
here's some my favorite weed, this is called skunk weed, it stinks, that's why it's called skunk weed, or skunk cabbage. It's really stinky though, it smells like skunk. Here's what it looks like. So we're headed in, I came down to this spot, it's like almost dark. There's lots of ducks down here. Some wood ducks, seen a couple wood ducks, and some mallards, and jumped up some turkeys. There was a Jake for time gobbling earlier. This is a nice wildlife area. There's definitely wildlife out here. And I heard some pheasants cackling too. I managed to catch one 16 and a half inch brown trout, and I missed like four or five other trout. So there's definitely some fish back here. The last time we fished back here, we caught no trout, so we did better than last time. I might try back here again, we'll see. So. Another episode of the Dane County Trout Challenge on Spring Creek is complete. I think the fishing just picked up though because like the last seven creeks I've tried I've caught fish on. So that's good and I'm going to head in.